Look at this supermassive black hole. It makes others seem like mere dwarfs. Its size is so absurdly enormous that scientists believe it might be a primordial black hole, formed at the same time as the universe itself. But does such a black hole truly exist? Just how massive is it? What kind of jaw-dropping scene would we witness if it were placed at the center of our solar system? In fact, this black hole does exist. It was proposed in 2020 by Finnish scientists through correlations observed in magnesium ion emission lines. This black hole is part of a binary system at the center of the quasar OJ287. You might wonder where Tan 6 and 18 ranks now. Well, even before this one was found, scientists had already discovered another standalone black hole, identified by its SDSS designation, which currently holds second place. So, Tan 6 and 18, once hailed as the king of black holes, is now only in third place. For context, Tan 618 has a mass of around 66 billion times that of the Sun, while the SDSS black hole has an astonishing mass of 196 billion solar masses, nearly three times larger. Its volume is truly unimaginable. To illustrate this, its diameter is over 4,000 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun, approximately 1.2 trillion kilometers. What does that even mean? Consider this. The Oort cloud is about one light year away from Earth, or roughly 9.46 trillion kilometers. That means the diameter of this black hole spans about one-ninth of a light year. Now, imagine humans living on a planet as large as this SDSS black hole. What would that be like? If you wanted to visit a friend on the opposite side and tried flying there in a commercial airplane at 1,000 kilometers per hour, it would take you roughly 120,000 years to arrive. But if we ever invented a light-speed spacecraft, the journey would take only about 46 days. It's hard to imagine just how massive it is. If we didn't have a light-speed spacecraft, the sheer scale would be impossible to cross within a human lifetime. So what would happen if a black hole of this magnitude appeared in our solar system? Something truly extraordinary. If it were positioned right at the center of the solar system, its event horizon would extend beyond the Kuiper belt reaching all the way to the Oort cloud. At that point, not only would every celestial body in the solar system be affected, but even the gravitational fields of the Oort cloud and the nearby Proxima Centauri system, located four light years away, would be distu 